it is getting a little dark here, but uh, you can see I now have my butterfly wings on. Flap, flap, flap. Aren't I pretty? Do I look pretty, guys? Okay. Yeah! Well, hey there, people. So today I am going to be answering uh, one of those really common questions for people in Terraria. How to get wings. How does Terraria give you wings? Okay, so... Uh, well, first of all, you have to be in hard mode. So you have to have defeated the Wall of Flesh and your world has to be in hard mode before you're going to be able to get the wings. Um, that's uh, the number one requirement. Secondly, if you're on console or mobile, there's a really easy way. You can just buy them from the Dryad during a Blood Moon. So uh, Dryad I have over here in my village is the, you know, the girl with the green hair and the, the leaves and stuff. That's the Dryad. Um, let's see, where is she? Oh yeah, she's actually living somewhere else right now. Anyway, she's the one with the green hair that sells you like little uh, powders and stuff. Um, so if you're on console or mobile, it's a mere 40 gold during a blood moon. You can buy it from her. Um, now, another way, easy way, if you have a lot of money, if you have one platinum, you can buy them from the witch doctor if he's in the jungle biome. So my witch doctor is hanging out over here. Now, I did tell him I built him a house in the jungle biome um, just so that I could show you that. But he's uh, hanging out over here for some reason. Let me see. Is he is he still designated here? No, he's designated to be over there. But uh, he hasn't wandered over there yet. I'll show you that in a bit. But if you have one platinum, but a platinum is 100 gold, so that's very expensive. They are nice wings. There's the leaf wings that he'll sell you. Um, those are pretty good wings. Um, but it's expensive at one platinum. So uh, I'll show you some other ways as well. Now, most, time, most types of uh, wings use... 20 souls of flight to craft them if you're going to craft some wings you're probably going to need 20 souls of flight especially at this stage of the game so to get souls of flight you'll notice um, if i open up my inventory i have a few you will need to i have 10 you will need to defeat the wyvern um, the wyvern is a pretty powerful enemy at first when you're first in hard mode um, so it's going to be a little tough at first. It's got 4,000 health. It moves really quickly. Um, but if you're well prepared, it's actually not that hard. There it is. There's the wyvern. So I've spawned, uh, I've got a minion. That's my imp. Um, I've also got, I've got a bunch of things here. One of the things is that if I'm fighting him in this uh, low gravity environment, it's easier as well. But I've got a slime mount. That's just, I happen to have the slime mount. If you happen to have the slime mount, that's very useful. Um, Another thing is you can get this cool uh, Nimbus rod from the murderous Nimbuses that spawn during Blood Moons as well. Um, and you can see oh, if he comes down low enough. Come on. See, that rains all over him and, uh, and does quite a lot of damage. So I actually, uh, when I first encountered one of these guys, he slaughtered me, <laughs> quite honestly. But uh, if you have, you know, I showed you in my last episode um, on adamantite equipment and, uh, you know, various um, weapons that you can get. I've even got my old trusty old star cannon from before uh, hard mode. Um, you're, you're just going to need some reasonably powerful weapons. Even this uh, glaive will do multiple hits if you can strike him. But the big thing is you want to stay out of his way because he does a lot of damage to you. And you can just wear him down. You can see, um, you know, I'm not too worried here. And there you can shoot him right in the face. <laughs> so there's a bunch of strategies. I'll give you a link. Actually, I'm going to have to defeat another one here anyway, so I can keep talking. But Because uh, they give you uh, 5 to 13 each time you kill one of them. Um, another thing you might need is the harpy feathers from these guys, the harpies. So uh, I'll collect a few of those as well while we're at it. Oh, and this is like a little Mario Brothers thing with this... Uh, <laughs> Slime mount, I can actually like jump on them, do some damage that way. Um, I suspect another wyvern will be here shortly, but uh, yeah, for the basic uh, wings, you can just collect some harpy feathers and some souls of flight. Um, it's easiest to fight the wyvern in space because of the low gravity, you can jump quickly and dodge. Um, but having a bed here means that you can set your spawn point. Oh, there's the wyvern. Uh, you can set your spy point spawn point to the island and then um, you're going to spawn right here and he's going to uh, you can basically just fall from the island and uh, 
kind of beat him up a little on the way down. Yeah, this will be better if I set these higher, actually. See, because then he'll come down and get hit a little more easily. So you, you basically want to be able to dodge out of his way and do some damage one way or another. There's various ways you can do some damage. I'm even going to use some arrows here. And you can see having decent equipment like this. This is a set of equipment that has both melee and range bonuses. I showed you that in my last episode. So there you go. I think I should have enough now. Yeah, I got 21. Um, so let's show you some other stuff. I'll just skip to that. Okay, so here's my dryad I was talking about, just so you know what the dryad looks like. She's the girl with the green hair that does the leaf thing. <laughs> so if you're on console or mobile, uh, during a blood moon, she'll t sell you uh, the sparkly wings for 40 gold. Okay, and here we are. This is the house that I built underground for my witch doctor, and he's made his way here now, so we can talk to him, and I'll show you. I can shop, and here we are. I can buy the leaf wings for one platinum. I'm not going to do that because those are really expensive and uh, I have better things to do with my money because I have some other ways to craft some equivalent wings. Those are good wings so if you have one platinum, if you have lots of money, go ahead you can just buy it from him. You just need to put them in the jungle at night and you can buy the leaf wings from him. But let's go back and I'll show you how to craft some. Okay, so ready to uh, show you some of the different wings that you can craft and, and tell you about some others. Um, one other little tip for fighting those wyverns, a long minecart track also works, but uh, as you can see, if you have a nimbus rod um, and or a minion and or a, a slime mount saddle, um, or even just a decent set of armor and some ranged weapons and you go up there in the low gravity uh, or maybe keep falling down and then magic mirroring back to your bed up at, at the top if you set your spawn point up there. Um, basically, you just need to be able to dodge and keep hitting it. You can do a couple platforms and jump back and forth. There's various ways, but uh, I have to say the Nimbus Rod and the Low Gravity together, mostly what made it really easy for me. Um, okay, so as far as what wings you can craft, well, there's some that you can craft with pretty common material. Again, all of your uh, wings that you can craft at this point in the game are going to involve 20 souls of flight. Now, I uh, fought a couple more wyverns. I've got 40 now, so I can craft a couple pairs. It's also going to take place at your anvil. This is now your orichalcum or mithril anvil. It has to be your hard mode anvil. Uh, as far as I'm aware. So if I now bring up my crafting screen, you can see here I've got a few options. So two of the most common ones are the angel wings and the de devil wings, um, or demon wings, sorry. So if I look at this recipe, the demon wings, it's your 20 souls of flight, 25 souls of night, and 10 uh, feathers from the harpies. Uh, so that's where the, the feathers from the harpies come in. If you want the angel wings, it's basically the same recipe, uh, 10 feathers, 20 souls of flight, except that it's 25 souls of light rather than night. You get your souls of night in the corruption of the crimson, you get your souls of light in uh, the hallow, just by defeating enemies there. So I could make my demon wings. Um, I also have, well I have a couple more options, but let me tell you about uh, one of the other ones that I don't have as an option here, which is uh, fairly easy to do as well, which is the fairy wings. That's your 20 souls of flight plus 100 pixie dust. So uh, again, go to the hallow, fight some pixies. It's going to take a while to get 100 pixie dust, but um, that's all you need. Just your uh, souls of flight, your 20 souls of flight, and 100 pixie dust. You can make your fairy wings. Those are a little better than the angel or the demon wings. Now, something that's actually more common than, than you might think um, that gives you some very good wings is something that I happen to get. If you look at my last uh, episode, um, when I was telling you about the uh, adamantite or titanium tier weapons and uh, some of the options you have there, and when I was specifically when I was getting my frost armor, which I elected to do rather than the adamantite armor, um, same way that I was getting my uh, frost cores is by fighting the ice golems. And it turns out uh, I, I gave you some strategies on how to do that easily as well. So it turns out that one out of three times basically is the, ch the the chance anyway I mean I can't guarantee one out of three but um, it's a one-third chance when you defeat an ice golem you're gonna get this ice feather and the ice feather uh, with your 20 souls of flight allows you to craft frozen wings so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna put those puppies on there we go and I even got an achievement head in the clouds because I now have wings 
Um, I'm going to show you another one here too, but that one's fairly common. All you have to do is def keep defeating a few golems, which you're going to want to do if you're going to want to get your uh, frost armor anyway. You have to defeat three of them anyway, and chances are you're going to get a nice feather doing it. Again, I gave you some strategies in the last video on how to defeat those, because they are a very hard enemy, but there's an easy way to beat them. So um, it's a little cheap, but what are you going to do, right? Okay, so I was also a little lucky. Um, I got this butterfly dust, which is something that you get from fighting moths in the underground jungle. The moths are a very rare enemy, uh, but they will drop butterfly dust. So I can actually make butterfly wings. And those are pretty. <laughs> so it's, it is getting a little dark here, but uh, you can see I now have my butterfly wings on. Flap, flap, flap. Aren't I pretty? Do I look pretty, guys? Okay. <laughs> Or I can do my frozen wings, which again, those are much easier to get. And actually, the, the frozen wings, interestingly enough, are uh, better. <laughs> they're actually very good wings for, certainly for this stage in the game, they're pretty good for, for you know, the remainder of the game. Um, and the, the different wings have different stats as far as how long you can fly and how high you can go. So you can see I can go reasonably high with the frost wings. Um, the butterfly wings are pretty good as well, I believe. Oh, yeah, actually, you can see it's actually a lot harder to go high with those ones. So that's where, you know, I definitely recommend going the frost wings route or by the leaf wings. They're actually the same stats uh, as the leaf wings. So you can buy the leaf wings from the witch doctor or you can uh, craft the frozen wings without that much trouble if you know the strategy to defeat the ice golem and the strategy to defeat the wyvern. Those are the two things you're going to have to fight to get those. Let me tell you about a few others, though, that uh, I'm not going to show you here because I don't have the ingredients. Um, you can also craft bee wings by getting one tattered bee wing, uh, which is a drop uh, from moss hornets in the underground jungle. It's fairly rare, though. Um, you can also craft bat wings by uh, getting a broken bat wing from vampires during a solar eclipse. Now, that uh, solar eclipse is only going to happen after you defeated one of the mechanical bosses, which I have not yet. I'm going to show you that um, next episode, probably. Uh, or you can get harpy wings by getting a giant harpy feather from fighting the harpies. It's a rare drop. That's why I fought all those harpies. I don't have one yet. <laughs> but uh, if you happen to get a giant harpy feather, that's an easy one too. Uh, also flame wings from getting a fire feather, which is a, dr a somewhat rare drop. I think it's, well, it's a, like a one third or something. I, I forget the stats. I'm going to give you a chart um, in the links. Uh, I'm going to give you a link in the description to show you all the different wings you can craft. I'm just giving you some of the ones that you can craft at this stage of the game when you're just getting into hard mode and just uh, starting to get some decent equipment. Um, so flame wings, you'll need a fire feather, which is a drop from the red devils in the underworld. There are also, if you were playing expert mode, you get treasure bags, which I think uh, for defeating bosses, but don't quote me on that because I haven't played expert mode. <laughs> but uh, the expert mode treasure bags will uh, give you all kinds of cool developer wings. So the actual developers of the game, um, a lot of them made their own special wings and you can get those in the treasure bags in expert mo mode only. Um, and there are lots of wings that you can craft later in the game as well. Now, um, <clears throat> one thing I forgot to tell you, in my last episode when I was telling you about the weapons that you'll need to defeat the mechanical bosses is what happens after you defeat the mechanical bosses. I'm going to show you my uh, mechanical boss fights coming up in my upcoming episodes, but um, once you've defeated any one of the mechanical bosses, you'll get the Steampunker NPC. Now you will of course have to have a spare house for him to move into, uh, but he also sells the jetpack, which is just like wings, it's equivalent to wings. Um, it's for 40 gold. He only sells it in certain phases of the moon, uh, five to eight, I believe. Um, but yeah, that's another way you can get wings. But for me, you know, I, I want to have wings when I get into the mechanical boss fights, not after. So I uh, thought I'd show you this now. Um, another thing, well, a few things that uh, also can happen after you've defeated a mechanical boss, you can get the truffle NPC. Um, well, actually, you can get that already. You need to build a above ground or run into an above ground uh, mushroom biome and you need to build an above ground house in the mushroom biome above ground for the truffle NPC to appear. Obviously I haven't done that yet. 
Um, but once you've defeated one of the mechanical bosses, he will sell you the mushroom spear and the hamush. The mushroom spear particularly, I've got this uh, adamantite uh, glaive, which I showed you how to craft in the last episode, um, for doing, you know, lots of multiple hits to multiple enemies uh, kind of thing. You know, great thing to have in a blood moon, that kind of thing. But uh, the mushroom spear is actually way more powerful. This is a base damage of 38. I've also got, obviously got some bonuses, but it's a base damage of, I think, 65 or somewhere around there. So uh, I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> but uh, there's also the solar eclipse happens after you've defeated one of the mechanical bosses. There's a 1 in 20 chance per day. Um, and there's all kinds of special drops you can get from the enemies that you run into during the solar eclipse. Let's just fly around a little. Is it nice? Is it nice? Is it nice? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the solar eclipse uh, starts to become a thing that can happen. Life fruits will start to grow in the under underground jungle, so you can actually get plus five health for each life fruit you consume after you've got your 400 from all your life crystals. Then you can consume life fruits to boost it up to a maximum of 500. Um, and those only start to grow after you've defeated one mechanical boss. Red Devils and Lava Bats start to spawn in the Underworld, um, just tougher enemies in the Underworld. Uh, also, you can get uh, Yellet Yo-Yos uh, as a drop in the Underground Jungle only after you've defeated um, one of the Mechanical Bosses. And again, Yo-Yos only happen in the PC version, um, but it, the Yellet Yo-Yo is a reasonably powerful one. So, uh, yeah. That's my next step. I'm going to start fighting the uh, mechanical bosses. Um, I hope you like this video on how to get wings. And uh, again, I'll give you links on all the different kinds of wings you can get, how you can get them. But the ones I told you about are the ones that you can get you know, reasonably early and reasonably easily. Um, and I'm also going to give you a link on uh, strategies to defeat the wyverns. So there's a, a particular page I came across on a different wiki, um, which gives you lots of strategies to defeat the wyverns. Uh, obviously, I gave you some of the basics as well. So I hope you like this video. Um, please do stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Let me know uh, what you think of the video, what you want to see. Um, and I guess for now, I'll see you next time. I'm going to do some uh, mechanical boss fights in my next Terraria video. So uh, bye for now. Thanks for watching.